Hello guys, I'm Jack mate and welcome back to another very special edition of Snack Wars. It's a Ramadan special and we have got three brilliant guests with us today. We've got Mohamed Kudas, Hawa Sissoko and the big man Dinos. How are you mate? You good? Good, good. Yeah. How are we feeling guys? We good? Good, good. good. You're going to teach me a bit about Ramadan today. You have to kick off iftar with Majul dates, right? Yes, it's because you've been um, fasting all day mm -hmm. and for us practicing sports so um, this is a, a good way to regen your body and it's really sweet and high in protein, so that's why. Dinos, have you, you had these much. before? No, I don't think so, no. Have a, have a little bite and let me know what you think. I had these last year. These are banging, by the way. How many could you eat, star boy? Talk to me. A lot, a lot. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. 10, 15? Less, less, less. <laughs> <laughs> Ramadan, obviously a very, very special month. Teach me, why is it so important to you guys? It's just discipline in, in, in human life aspect, you know, but you know, religion is, is one of the practices and we have to do it, you know, but with our sport also, we have to um, find a balance and, and put it in a way that it's not um, affecting too much the sport that we do, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful month um, in a year and uh, I find a lot of peace at that time. Perfect, spot on. Now, last year, Nayef was teaching me about the kind of mental impact that it has because it's such a dedication to go go through a month like Ramadan and how, how, how do you think that impacts your mental ability on the pitch? Um, a lot because during this month we are trying to be the best version of ourselves mm -hmm. so um, kind of thing can happen on the pitch and you're frustrated or stuff like that but when you remember that you're fast you just forgot about things so you can play during training or during games and your opponent is going to annoy you but because you're fasting, you're like, I can't even answer. Right. So you're more focused on yourself and you try to show the best version of yourself. There we go. And how, how do you find the dates? I can say that this one was really nice. Very sweet, yeah? yeah? Sweet, yeah, sweet. <laughs> Very sweet. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump straight on to the first dish as requested by Starboy. <laughs> Let's jump straight into the first dish, guys. Will you join me in revealing the dish in three, two, one. Now, as I said, Requested by you, uh, talk to us about this. This is jollof rice. It's a West African dish. Is this your favourite meal? Um, yeah, it's my favourite. Okay. Before I eat, is it spicy? <laughs> um, yeah, normally Ghanaian food, yeah, so I expect, <laughs> I expect so. I can't do spice. What about you, Dina? So you're a spice man? Yeah, I like, I like. Mm -hmm. This one is not spicy. Yeah, it's that's okay. okay. You're lying to me. No, that's you're okay. Lying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I agree, I agree with it's that. Okay. I can no. see you struggling over no, that. No, I said, <laughs> I, I love spice. Now, I've heard of a big debate between Ghanaians and Nigerians oh. over whose jollof rice is best. Now, I think I know what you're going to say. Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Is Ghanaian best then? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe because I'm used to it and that's what I've been eating all these years. So I just have that taste for, for the Ghanaian one. Yeah. Not, not that anyone's asking my opinion, but if I have to give my opinion, I'm going to say Ghanaian's best, okay? <laughs> yeah. And that's not just because I'm sat next to you. Mo, I hear your, your mother and your grandmother are good cooks, is that right? From Ghana, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all grew up eating our mom's and granny's food, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's always the best. Dinos, what do you think of the plantain? Yeah, both, all of them. Until now, everything is really nice. It, this is spicy. Do you not think that's not spicy? Enough, not enough, but I really love this one, the banana, really. Yeah. It's really, the taste is really nice, you know? The taste of this is lovely, but I can feel it in the back of my throat. And I'm trying to keep composed. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should put some milk for you. Yeah, yeah, come get some milk. We do have water here, but while I take a sip of this, let's move on to the second dish. Okay, dish one done. My mouth is still burning. We're on to dish two now. This was suggested by you, Hawa. So let's reveal it. Three, two, one. Okay, this looks good. This is a... Uh, you're gonna have to help me pronounce this. Chicken mafi. Yeah. Is that right. all right? Yeah. Okay. Is, th is this a dish from, from Mali, is that yeah. correct? Yeah. And that's where your parents are from? Exactly. And, yeah. and how are your parents at cooking mafi? It don't look like it don't look this, but okay. I think it will taste the same. I okay. think it's the same base. But I've never seen carrots inside before. But <laughs> we, we do just, it a little bit differently here at West Ham. More modern. <laughs> you don't look too keen on our maf mafi. <laughs> it don't taste the same. It don't like. It don't taste the same. But I can feel the. I can taste the peanut butter. But that's the base of the 
the sauce, the peanut, peanut butter, butter sauce. See, I'm a big fan of a peanut yeah. butter sauce. So that's why maybe you like and, it. And, and you can't taste the peanut, peanut butter in this. Yeah, I can, oh, I can, can, I can. You can. Yeah, I can, but it tastes differently than... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if I can say normal maffe, but... No, of course you can, <laughs> of course you can. Mo, have you had maffe before? Um, no, but it tastes familiar, you know, like... African foods, like, there's some similarities, you know, yeah. it's no big difference, you know. Right. It's like, uh, with the, I can feel the peanut butter and chicken, of course, and the rice, you know. It's no big difference to what I'll eat or something like that, you know. So the difference in the foods mm -hmm. is not really big. It's just oh. different recipes, that's a bit of change. But, different variations. But I'm used yeah. to this taste and yeah, I can yeah. eat it any day, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. Let's jump into the puff puff. That's good. Yeah, I know, I know this. You had this before? Yeah, we have it in Ghana. We call it bufruit. Bufruit? Bufruit. Bufruit? Yeah, you, 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 you take it with like breakfast, like like mm -hmm. cocoa or something like that. Yeah, like, yeah mm -hmm. it's similar, you know, yeah. So I know this. I like it. You can, it's, 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 very, it's quite oily, isn't it? Yeah, mm. and it's better when it's warm. Yeah, yeah. also when it's warm and hot, you know. Yeah, yeah. This okay. Way. Now this series is sponsored by Loka Mobile. How do you guys stay in contact with your family. How important is that during Ramadan to speak to your friends and family? No, oh, it's very important, mm. you know. When I wake up to eat at dawn, I'm, I'm in contact with them, just talking till I eat, pray, and then, yeah, when I'm breaking my fast, also still in contact with them, just to talk about how the fasting is going, and yeah, sometimes we make fun of like, oh, I've been very hungry today, and stuff <laughs> like that, you know, yeah, but it's nice. Does it get because obviously I've 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 never I've never practiced Ramadan. I, it's it's such a such a commitment to do it for the whole month. Yeah. Does it get easier throughout the month, or is it still just as hard at the end as it is? Some people they smash it for for right. for the thing for the months, and some people they have like more up and down. It yeah. depends. Perfect spot on. Dish two done. Big fan of the puff puff. On to dish three. Okay, that brings us on to the third. And final dish. Guys, please join me. Three, two, one. Now, I think we all know what this is. This is baklava. Mm. Have you had before? I know this one and it's my favorite, but I like okay. it with the ice cream. I've had these before say, on Snack Wars. These are so good. Pistache. Pistachio. Say, pistachio. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dinos, have you had these before? Yeah, yeah, baklava is really famous mm -hmm. in Greece as well. So I'm a big fan. I'm a yeah. big fan. I guess you can't eat too many, though, because mm -hmm. you are athletes, right? Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe in uh, seed days. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, how does the club help Muslim players during Ramadan? For me, as a French player, mm -hmm. I'm really surprised because in France we we'll never have all these facilities. So, I feel the club um, really supportive. Mm -hmm. So, if I need something, they are going to help me. If they have to manage the session for me or stuff like that, they, they are going to do it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just happy and I feel great. Oh, perfect. Same for you, Mohamed? Um, obviously, I've not done Ramadan here yet, but mm -hmm. the previous clubs, um, um, the time for the Muslim guys reporting in and stuff like that was a bit flexible, you know, because um, the guys, they have breakfast and we don't, so we can report in a bit later, so which means we can have longer sleep because we come to, to eat at dawn, which is a way the club supports it. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, they, they provide food stuff also, you know, also when we are breaking the fast in between the games and stuff like that, we have time for ourselves um, around those times so we can break our fast and yeah, so far that's, but here, um, not just Ramadan with prayers also, you know, there's times we pray here, the club organized for us to pray and March days also we have places we can pray and stuff like that. So, so far here with prayers and everything, yeah, the club is supporting too. That's great. Dinos, how have you found the food today, mate? Yeah, well, I, really, I really like it. Uh, all, of, all of the dishes were really tasty and uh, also to finish now with baklava, was, yeah. which is familiar to me, it's, it's it was on. nice to try. And finally, guys, um, have you got any advice for young Muslim players coming, coming through about how to observe Ramadan and be a top athlete at the same time? It's difficult, but just do your best, I would say, you know. Um, we pray and we, we worship God, but we are all sinners, we all make mistakes every day, so just do your best, that's all I would say. Yeah, and, and just, they have to be focused on themselves and they don't have to look what the others do, because otherwise maybe they will have like bad energy, bad feelings, and it's going to drag them down. Yeah. So just be focused on you, Try your best, as you said, and it's going to work. There we go. 
That brings us to the end of this special episode of Snack Wars Ramadan Special. Thank you so much to my guests, Mohamed Kudas, Hawa Sissoko, and the big man Dinos. We'll see you next time for another episode of Snack Wars, sponsored as always by the brilliant Leica Mobile.